How Smilegate Can Save Lost Stark by a man who's eating bread. And there's white bread in the middle of the black bread. Anyway, this should be good. What I most hope to see at Loan just stop being lame and just make the game better. They know how to do it. It's easy to do and they know how to do it. And they'll start mm. doing it when they start losing numbers and players and money. No, there's so... Dude, I can make the game better in 10 minutes. Do it then. You ready? By cutting daily content to a fourth. Ready? Here's how you make the game better in 10 minutes. All of these, move them to the front. All of the skill point potions, move them to the fucking front. All of these... Oh my god, you're telling me he's a Lost Stock player and he has done almost no island sills. Not, doesn't even have all of the giant hearts. And Animus Tots, Masterpieces, 3% Makoko Seeds. Oh. Oh. I, I feel pain in my chest seeing this. These. Wow. All of these. Move them to the front. I Every have all of one. that. Don't put RNG behind any of these. Move them all right here. So that it's easy to go claim. It's going to knock out right away. All of them for new players. Nerf the honing by a shitload all the way to current endgame content. Nerf the whole thing. Makes sense. There's no reason to. You're going to move out of this tier anyway. Okay? <laughs> this shit, literally delete it. There's no point of these. What kind of... I, 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 have, I have done all of the Una tasks, by the way. I don't know if he's gonna show that, but I have done 100% all of doing the tasks. It's like, it's not that hot. It's like, you know, one, one and a half hour per day. And you know, in like three months, you're done. Just a three months. A weekly gives you 11 stones. Somebody explain to me how a weekly gives you 11 stones. Yeah, that's nothing compared to a daily. 11 stones for a weekly? Delete it. Front load the gold, gold elsewhere. Put these mats elsewhere in the game delete it too many things to track it's unnecessary just get yep. fucking rid of it chaos dungeons put them at one guardians put them at one i know state was saying that guardians at two is fine with no i don't want to do no. the same exact fight two times no more. absolutely not like come on guardians are so lame put the silver awards and all the things that you took away from the una just put them right here right makes one sense guardian one chaos nerf the honing all the way to current content always just to get new people into it yep. work all that horizontal all yeah otherwise you know lost Ark has this thing where new people only come to lost Ark and people return only to lost Ark when there's a free uh a level boost pass or whatever they called it i forgot the runes just give them the the, the runes the runes anymore. are so we don't need the, it's so asinine these the rune setup is just so mm -mm. 17 ranks of we don't need all of these ranks just do purple and legendary. People start with purple runes. They can get their legendary ones. Don't make them RNG based. Yeah. That alone right there makes the game way fucking better. Like already way fucking better. Yeah. He has a point, but I actually do have a counterpoint to this. Uh, while the point is valid and that would get people, but then people would not have anything to do when uh, when they're bored and you know they have all done all of their raids, all of their things, and they don't want to level up a new character. Like, I, I, I didn't get ninety nine percent Makoko seeds, and I'm missing two. By the way, uh, one is in the Brel, uh, the the hidden Brel Shaza one in the fairy dungeon or whatever you want to call it. Another one is at. Not Forbes, but Gesbro. Yeah, that one. I am not. I am never going back to Gesbro doing that stupid, uh, that stupid, uh, stupid puzzle sh uh, shit ever again. Now, those Makoko seats are never getting touched. And if I could literally change whatever I would, I could do, want to do in the game. If I could actually change whatever I want in the game, I would offer the ability to switch your class on a Hyper Express. Like that's what I would do. Like something to do similar to BDO. If you want to switch off your class. You can. You can just turn your class into something else. Oh, like that's does that interesting. All the time, and that would make a huge difference because it's too vertical. Yeah. And it's but again, uh, but my point was that, you know, I didn't start by collecting Makoko seeds and whatnot. I didn't kit. But at one point, I was kind of bored. There was nothing really for me to do that week. So, you know, I, I, I started slowly collecting things. And every single player who has, well, you know, played any progression game will tell you, yeah, it does it, it does feel good when those numbers are sweet, sweet, yellow, uh, you know, uh, green and whatnot. It, it feels good. And, you know, you're sooner or later going to do it. It feels too bad to start over. And that sucks, dude. 
that sucks. So BDO, you can swap your gear over to another new class when it comes out. When a new class comes out, give people the ability to change their ticket. Like they can change their class. And you can do that every oh. couple of months, like every six months or whatever. So that way they can kind of change it around. Like at least give them the chance to do that. Only problem with doing that is it could be like, well, what if you everyone goes to one thing? But I think giving people the option of <laughs> some way to do it. Gems all cool. should be account wide. All of your gems should be like a tab mm. like this. Where is it? They don't go here. When you when you go onto a character, you have gems, and you just mm. you just select it like similar to this thing. Just have yeah, it to be, that would be actually so you good. Just like, you can just pick them on your character when you log in. Yeah. And you, have a, you have like a, a pool of gems. So all of your characters just, you have a selection of gems that you have because you've earned them. You only have to earn once and that's it. Cards, that everyone good. in the game should start with LOS 18. I think it's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, that that's make true. another card set that looks like a Light of set. heaven, boys. It's stupid. Everyone in the game at bare minimum should start How with much that. does he have? Oh, he has the thir uh, 30 piece, huh? Yeah. At 18, though. Well, yeah, 18 is... Uh, 12 is when every, your damage turns into holy damage, and 18 is the pl uh, first plus 7 damage. Yeah, makes sense. The cards are, you know, kind of cool, but they don't really work uh, as a great mechanic, honestly. You know, and if we had access to every card maxed out, honestly, we would see a lot of interesting build variety. For example... My favorite build when I left the game was a Lightning Lancer. Yeah, it was the one who didn't have, you know, not spec-based. And I used the set that did lightning and fire damage. And that thing actually pumped. It was so fun, honestly, to play, okay? It, 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 it felt just good, you know? And, uh, and I didn't have the cards because there was this one set that offered me lightning vulnerability to uh, enemies. That would have been huge, but I couldn't actually get it. So, you know, Sag. LOS 18 at this point in the game. Why do you make a deep dive card set that signifies that you don't have LOS 18? So people are going to see that and go, oh, I don't want to play with you. You have deep dive, right? If you're not going to just delete them, everyone should start with LOS 18, right? These are, these yep. are, these are, are small Minimum, changes right? already that make the game better. And they're not hard to do, by the way. Everything I just said is something that you could do at low on, right? Makes what I just sense. said is things that you could do in six months, right? In six months. Yeah, you know, someone's saying in the chat, cards are insanely bad system. Man, they, they're technically kind of fun. It's technically a cool system. But yeah, g considering how absolutely rare, unusable that stuff is, it, it turns into a really bad system, but it would have potential if it was actually, you know, made better. You could do that. Because it's just UI changes and percentage changes and deleting of stuff and reworking mats. My point is, that's what I'm saying. It's easy for them to do this stuff. Right? I could go on for hours about, like, other things that I wish the game did differently. But I just named, like, a bunch of just fat QOL that would make the game way more enjoyable. Yeah. Way more enjoyable. Right? These are real changes that you could do very easily. That would not require insane i'm not asking them to develop five new pieces of content or new raids it's just okay my biggest stake is how we actually make lost ark loved by players and make it really popular is again i have said this before and it will never be done literally never smilegate will never even attempt it but it is to make current uh, current uh, current raids soloable you know, make them hard, but make them that you don't need a team to do them, okay? That will fix so many issues of the game, okay? And, you know, pe you know, make ma make them solvable. It's so simple. Well, it's actually super complicated and impossible balance-wise to actually do it, but you get the point. If that was done, man, new people would be flooding in. Because it would be literally Dark Souls. It would literally be Dark Souls, Elder and Ring and all of that jazz, but better. But better. QOL and better new player systems that are yeah, infinitely fucking better than just having to do... Expecting a new player to go sail around and do all these things. Oh, you need a purple rune? Go do 38 fucking... You need a purple wealth rune? Go do 38 fucking sea voyage missions? And you need that purple well through, and that's like the thing. You actually do need that. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, 
I'm not saying don't have Omnium Stars, right? Sure, it's fine, but don't put per main progression things. What is a Shattered Stud Fragment, though? No idea what that is. That you need... Put this at the end, like, right? Like, these at the end... All of them don't put these life. things, like, like, what the fuck? Just put them right here. Why is this the first thing you get? Just give them the runes. Give them all purple runes, and then they can get their legendary ones later. These are... Yeah. The whole point is, the way you play the game, it, it, that's not what the game is about anymore. They want you to play the game, but that's not what it's about. And it's about making it an encouraging system to hop into. Yeah. Right? If you look at this... Because it isn't. Again, as I said from my experience, I only started doing this stuff when I was bought. But admittedly, when I started doing it, I kind of made it almost a slight priority to actually do all of this stuff. And, you know, it didn't feel bad. Watching those numbers go up is pretty rewarding, honestly. And then I could spam in Discord how much better I am because my collections are full. <laughs> And that, by the way, forced other people to also start doing it because they got pissed. Because they're saying, "Oh, look at me! I did! I, I, I I'm the MVP in Brawl Shaza. I'm the MVP! Blah blah blah!" Here, yeah. And look, look at my collection log. This is the true end game. Okay, this is the real end game. We're talking about here, and everyone slowly started do uh, collecting stuff. Also, kind of funny. Letter. This is what I want to know about Loan. Okay? This thing right here, they talked about all of this shit that they were going to be working on, right? All of these things about ge gems, tripods, Why cards, do I see an Argos picture there? That's that's not good. No one likes Argos. And so we're going to see, right? Like this is them basically sending out a letter before Loan to try to prevent people from getting pissed. Also, Argos is so man. When you start playing Lost Stock the first real problem that you're gonna encounter is gonna be the Fairyland, that dungeon, you know, th that one. That was the uh, thing that for people first encountered with, you know, Brel Shaz and her, like, 15 gates. That was the hard one, you know? After that, well, you kind of learned it. Admittedly, new people never learned it. Then after Argos came out. Man, and Argos was a different game complexity level altogether. You like went in and Argos and you're dead. You you, you you literally have no idea what that stupid deer does, okay? That that was how Argos works. And we're just talking phase one, okay? Fa phase three is the fable one where you can just randomly get knocked up 15 times in a row because he hates you. But yeah, that was just phase one. And after and after Argos comes out, Valtan, Ovicus, all of that stuff, clown. And man, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, I can, I, Argos is so easy compared to that. You gotta love that. Stuff. But it was all we're working on it, we're working on it, we're working on it. So, let's see what they're actually working on, because again, the of rework things, of Argos. they can do it. These are so easy changes, right? Like, these are so, a you make this 50 out of 100. They can do it, and I was talking with Saint, it's basically, that's their oh shit button. If you ever played WoW Shadowlands, what was their... Who played Shadowlands in the chat? Type a one. Anyone? Okay, what was their oh shit button? What was their oh, we need to do something? What did they do? Hmm, no idea. It was their ripcord. They, go, they were like, all right, well, we'll fucking, we'll just get rid of the, we'll, we'll get rid of the covenants. Oh, they can do that. yeah. Yeah, true. Them acting like they can't do that is insane. They can do. I don't know why they don't do this. I One of the reasons why I actually quit Lost Stark was because, you know, I was doing the dailies, I was doing the dailies every time. And that took roughly like one and a half to two hours to do all the dailies on all of my characters. It's so annoying. All, all the guardians, all the chaos dungeons, everything. Man, it takes a while, huh? Take takes a while. And you know, then I slowly got bored of it, and I did only when rested experience was up. And you know what? Still that take uh, still that ended up taking like on eight characters one hour per day or sometimes a little bit more So it's still a chore and when you stop doing that you slowly drift away from the game because that's kind of what keeps you playing when all, uh, when all the raids are on cooldown Do it they can make the game better instantly tomorrow if they want to But what's gonna make them do it you want to know what's gonna make them do it boys player Money, numbers going right? down 
This is what's going to make them do it. This concert right here is going to make them do it. Maple Story no, Six Chop. What is this? You know what's going to make them do it? Oh, what Zach is this? Roar doesn't have a K-pop concert fucking going ah, on. Don't, 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 don't show us a K-pop concert. That's going to be demonetizable. Guardian. And then every single fun event in the game that people have had, like Naruni Racing, the Hammer One, they added a new island where it's like a, a fucking, I don't know what it is. It's like this water gun thing where you like prevent people from moving. The summer suit. The water gun god is garbage. Add a golden saucer in the game too. Like add little mini games, mini game islands, put those in the game that already- Oh, look at that. A player who's playing a female and that's not a slut mog. I'm impressed and disgusted at the same time. Clearly, this is a new player. Exist, have them permanent. And yeah, it's fine if people have more free time to do- Maybe it's still just a European thing that, you know, ev ev everyone's skin in the game is just a swimsuit and skin colored. <laughs> Maybe that's just a European thing. Do shit. If the game is less vertical, <laughs> they can play some alt characters. Maybe it's fine it is. if there's downtime, right? That's totally fine. Will you end up be, when you will you end up playing Lost Ark more? Probably not. You will probably end up playing Lost Ark less. However, there will be less burnout and frustration in the community, and that's fine. I think that's, that's the good. better route because if you try yeah. to stress people out too much, it'll burn them out, and it, it's hard for people to get into the game. Well, either way, something needs to change, right? Uh, on top of all of that. If you look at the vertical progression, it's way too steep, bro. Like, if you look at- 45k gold. Can he even buy, uh, can he even buy a little bit of, you know, I don't know, grudge or something like that? I don't think so. Probably one book or two. You know how BDO does it? They launch a new piece of gear, like, every zone. You're constantly having to get vertical, and if you- Oh, and then what I would do, the last thing I would do, is I would, an I would announce a tier 4 at some point then. If you're gonna do all this stuff, maybe we'll put- like, Tier Whenever we four? had a WoW expansion, we had like a downtime, like a, a tune down season. Towards the end of the expansion, Blizzard would always just fucking remove all the bullshit. They'd let everyone have fun. And the end. That's not a bot, is it? <laughs> is that a bot? End of the expansion was always the most fun because all move. the bullshit was gone. So announce your tier four shit, take away all the bullshit, let people swap their classes around, just kind of have fun, like give them that opportunity to play a little bit less and fuck around. And then give people a reset for season three to come into the game, right? Like, that's what the game needs to do. And they know that, right? But they fucked themselves by not doing tier four. And now they have to wait till Kazaros and all this other bullshit. So, they... Is he playing Scout, by the way? You need to make your experience better. And I promise you, that's something that they can do. It's not like they can't do it. It's not like I'm asking them to develop a new raid. I'm not asking them to develop a new system. I'm literally just saying, make your system currently less AIDS while you work on the other systems. And they can do that, right? But they're only- There is a slight chance that they are working at something big, but who knows honestly what, or me, e even if they are honestly doing it. Because they know that these are problems, right? They know that these are problems, and then they don't want to implement the obvious solutions. But they obviously, well, want to not make the game die, so. They maybe are thinking of something, but who knows? They're only going to do it. They're only going to do it when they feel pressure from stuff like this. Ah, don't, don't. It's gonna be insta demonetized. Stop, Snoops, you evil man. First of all, I feel like the the only people that play Lost Ark in Korea now are the ones that are selling fucking their gold and they're busting and shit. Makes That's sense. Really the only one. You think a new player's coming into the game, Inven? Yeah, because they're all fucking selling their gold. They're all. And also, when the fuck did anyone care about what anyone writes on Inven? I don't know why we treat Inven like it's this holy fucking grill. I've said this before. Oh no, he's a sharpshooter. Who? The forums? The Korean forums? The Korean Reddit? Do you guys take anything Korean anyone Reddit? seriously says on Reddit ever for any game? So why is Inven this blessed Reddit? It's literally what it is. It's a Reddit about the game. I don't know. Everyone always took like the Korean uh, stuff when someone said, "Oh, this is the best," and you know, you ask like, "Why is this the best, Chief?" And they answer, "Because it was because the Koreans said it's the best." Like, bruh, come on. The same bozos, but they're Korean. Doesn't matter. It's the same shit. They can make the game better tomorrow if they wanted to, right? Are they gonna do everything I just said? No, but I at least want to see them recognize and make some of the fucking changes, right? Like. They're not hard to do. Fix it. It's so easy. Also, something you should do. 
maybe they actually have already done this. I don't know. But it's the fact that when a new continent, a new part of the story is released, by the way, the story is absolutely amazing, the cinematics and whatnot, wow, really good. But when they ever do that, it's like, yeah, you want to do it one time, but you never want to do it on your outs. But you can't skip the story, well, at least when I played, you couldn't skip the story to the, uh, to the newest tier, okay, you know? Whatever was the newest tier, you couldn't skip that content. You got there, and then you needed to, like, spend two hours doing the sto uh, story crap, and... Yeah, it was such a hustle. It was... And, and on every character, like, come on, I want to do it once. Well, maybe I don't even honestly want to do it once. But then I need to do it on seven more characters? Please. Please, Smilegate, please. Easy to do it. It's easy to do. So at least fix some of it. Right? At least fix some of it. I don't care about a new class. Cool. A new class. Yeah, new class, class is not like, okay. Last fucking two weeks. You want to watch this too vertical? Make the right... It's the shit I've been saying for a year, bro. Nothing's changed. I'm always... I've been, I've been saying the same shit for a year. I don't flip-flop. True, true. I've been saying it fucking back then. And back then, everyone's like, you don't play the game. Your opinion doesn't matter. You just swipe all the time. Your opinion doesn't matter. Wow. Because they're stupid. Those wow. people are stupid. Those are dumb people. There's dumb people in the world. What does that mean? It's it's just it's just, it's they're just you know what I'm saying like it's so it's so stupid. It's so dumb. Make you make it better. So I don't want to rant about. It. I, I I'm over it. I don't want to rant. He about probably it. doesn't even have the Sasha report. If I think about it, yeah, he probably doesn't even have Sasha report maxed out. Well, admittedly, you know, man. Moxing out report is a different thing, you know, lostmerchants.com, check your server, check the stuff up, and just see when anyone se uh, sells a legendary thing, and you know, have all uh, all your waypoint, not waypoints, but what they were called, compass things, you know, those things set, uh, set, to, set for different spawns in different locations for different continents, oh my god, dude, if you want to do report, report took the longest, Report took the longest. I think report took me like four months ish to actually complete, and that was and you know that was again I'm self employed, so I can say I could sit at home and just you know ha I pretty much all day long had lost merchants open, and whenever there was a thing, I just log in and buy and buy the thing. It it was pain. About it. That's why I just don't, I don't like taking games too serious. It's too easy to get mad over dumb shit. Makes sense. Nice. Thank you, Snoops. Any case, yeah, that's pretty much it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yep. This is Kuzer said, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.